Oh my goodness. It's time for a new chapter. Well, this time we got some area. All right. <clears throat> so we're going to be able to solve problems requiring general area ideas. That sounds exciting. And I think that Jenny over here is also uh, quite excited. There she is. She's uh, coming to me on the couch right now. She's uh, and she's already learned this, so that's why she doesn't look quite as excited. She already took honors geometry uh, a couple of years ago. She's uh, currently in pre-calc honors. So. But uh, she's excited nonetheless. Woo! All right, so you guys should already be familiar with area. What is area? It's basically just this, you know, uh, what uh, space is taken up, so to speak, right? How is it measured? Uh, it's measured in square units. So uh, feet squared. That should be a squared, right? Uh, or it could be meters squared. So just in square units, all right? And when we're talking about lengths, we're talking about linear feet, all right? Or linear meters or linear inches, but with area, it's square feet. So let's find the area of the space below. Well, let's count it out. So we've got uh, six here, right? Six squares there. And then I'm going across the other way. It looks like eight, if I'm counting correctly. Let's pretend I am counting correctly. All right, so we've got eight going that way. So it'd be six times eight is 48 units squared um how uh, we could count them all out i guess you know right but that seems like a waste of time we can just multiply our two dimensions if we're talking about a rectangle obviously there's gonna be other formulas involved areas of triangles areas of polygons um all sorts of crazy stuff but uh yeah how we use this in the real world oh my goodness if you think oh well, i'm never gonna use this stuff like this is probably one of the most useful aspects of geometry uh which is area and then volume as well okay Use it all the time. I use it all the time uh, doing stuff, whether it be in my uh, construction class or just in real life when I had to order new siding for my house or new roofing for my house because I do those things. Um, or if we're painting, when we were renovating our house and painting, I figured out how many gallons of paint I would need. There are so many applications. Alrighty, as is tradition with this class, uh, we aren't going to ask you straight ahead area type questions. We're going to make it a little weird. Find the area of the rectangle that has a perimeter of 20 centimeters and the width of the rectangle is one more than twice the length oh my oh my goodness that is crazy all right so what are we gonna do here well i know the area is just length times width area equals length times width right um perimeter i just add all the sides let's just draw a quick picture here um we know that the perimeter p is equal to 20. now it says the width is one more than twice the length. W equals one more than twice the length. So two times L plus one, right? Okay, so if if this is my, let's just say my length, and this is, or let's go, let's go length and width. I don't, it doesn't really matter. I don't know why I switched it. But length and width of my rectangle, I could take this guy and substitute it in, right? Hmm. So how is that going to help me? Well, what do I know? I do know that my perimeter is 20. And I know my perimeter is equal to all my sides added up. So I could say uh, 20 is equal to L, right, plus L. And then this guy is 2L plus 1. And this is 2L plus 1. Add those all up. I got, what, 6L plus 1 plus 1 is 2. Now I can solve for L. So 18 is equal to 6L. So L equals 3. But it's asking me to find the area. Well, that means that this is equal to 3 times. Well, what's my width then? My length is 3. My width is 2 times 3 plus 1, which is 7. 21. Woo! That was wonderful. 21 units squared. Again, a weird one. Find the area of a square with a diagonal of 12 root 2. Because, you know, you'd measure a square with that, right? Okay, let's do this. So I'm going to take a make a square-looking dealio here. 
Cool. Whoop. Didn't mean to move that. Meant to move the school. Not that either. I'm losing it. Oh, my goodness. Okay, whatever. Um, there we go. Now it's letting me move it. My diagonal of this bad boy is 12 root 2. Feet, right? Because that's how I measure feet. Um, I measure it with radicals. <laughs> I'm making math jokes to myself right now, children. I'm making math jokes. Okay. Well... A square, it's four right angles, right? The diagonals bisect those angles. They bisect each other. They're perpendicular to each other, right? So I end up with 45 degrees and 45 degrees. And yes, this is lending itself to a wonderful 45, 45, 90 triangle right here. So I would divide that by root 2 to get 12 for this side and this side. So 12 times 12 is 144. So 144 feet square because yes we have our units of feet and the units are squared with area awesome let's find our area of the shaded region i love finding the area of shaded regions it's one of my favorite things to do finding the area of shaded regions all righty few different schools of thought for this one feel free to pause it try it on your own up to you um i like going about it this way i'm going to close this off and this off and I know that if this is 1 right here, so is this. So the whole entire side is 3. 3 times 6 is 18. So that's the entire thing. Now i got to subtract up the unshaded, which is 2 by 1. So minus 2 times 1, I'm going to subtract it out for this one as well. And I end up with 14 units squared. Cool. I've seen people do it this way. Cut it, cut it. 1 times 6 is 6. 1 times 6 is 6, and then if this is 2 right here and 2 right here, that means this is 2. 2 times 1 is 2, so I end up with 6 plus 6 plus 2, which is 14 units squared. Either way, same dealio, America Freedom Rock and Roll. Oh my goodness, a ratio problem. Who would have thought? We've never seen one of those. Oh wait, we have. The ratio of the sides of a rectangle are 4 to 5. And the area is 320 square units. Find the measure of the sides. I've got the area. I want to find the measure of the sides. Well, ratio problems, I'm always jotting down an X with it. So 4X and 5X, 320 square units. Okay. Well, I know my length times my width gives me my area. So 5X times 4X is equal to 320. So 5 times 4 is 20X squared is equal to 320. If I divide by 20, I'm just solving for x now, algebra it out. I'm going to be left with, what, 16? Cancel the zeros. Yep, 16. Now, if I square root that, I get x equals plus or minus 4. But since we're plugging this back in, if you look at the problem, 4 is going to be the only one that works because otherwise I'm going to get negative side lengths. That being said, don't forget to actually answer the question. Find the measure of the sides. 5 times 4 is 20. And 4 times 4 is 16. And that's apparently units. Cool. Those are my two side lengths. I love it. This guy is 16 and this one is 20. Woo! America. That wasn't so bad, ladies and gentlemen. Now, was it? Ooh. Love me some area. I just can't get enough. You know what I'm saying? All righty. You children have a wonderful day.